Well, we've had um, a crazy week with uh, all of the things that are going on with the U.S. politics. And I wanted to come on today and I have a few questions. And mostly I'm trying to want to... First, I want to take everybody's temperature. How are you feeling? Are you doing okay? I'm going to do, the first reading I'm going to do is uh, on our emotional health and how we're doing in this changeover. The second thing I want to do is talk about Kamala Harris's vice president pick. Who is she going to pick? Has she already picked them? Let's find out. Also, the last thing I'm going to talk about is how's Joe? You know, is he, is he, I know he still has COVID. Um, is he feeling betrayed and sick or is he, um, what are his emotions? What's coming up for him? What's he going to be doing? And so those are the three thing, topics that I want to talk about and let's get right into it. When things get really tough and the world feels a bit shaky, our feelings can get all mixed up too. And you might be feeling scared or worried or sad. And that's okay. These cards are about our emotions. And it's kind of like being on a roller coaster with ups and downs, you know, that kind of thing. But there are ways to feel better. You can talk to someone you trust. You can do something that makes you happy. Or you can just take deep breaths to calm down. It's important to take care of your heart and your mind. Just like you take care of your body. body. It's okay to ask for help if you need it. This is Tatiana's fortune cards. And the question for that is going to be about Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate. Choosing a vice presidential running mate is like picking a teammate for a big project. The presidential candidate wants somebody who can help him out, bring different skills to the table. They look for someone who can balance out like their own strengths and weaknesses and so they're looking for those states that can bring her electoral um, vote. They need to trust each other, work well together. It's kind of like choosing a best friend. And lastly I have the Pulp Tarot and that's questions there are going to be about friends turning on you. How are you feeling? Are you feeling confused or hurt? You know, when things like that happen, when you lose a job or something, your, your safe space is suddenly gone. So let's feel, see how Joe's feeling. Is he sad or angry or betrayed? Or it, If it is, I mean, it's okay for him to feel that way. I'm just... Um, He's probably talking to Jill and the people he trusts. Uh, they've had gone through a lot of tough times together. And uh, they're a tough family. So, But he's still president and uh, he has a job to do till January. So this might be a blessing in disguise for him to have COVID. Forcing him to step back for a minute and um, take it all in. Uh, have all his feelings come out while he's at home and then get back to work. I'm putting these um, brooches on the cards that I feel are most important. I wanted to check in with you all to try to figure out how you're feeling. I know there's been a lot of news in the last few days and people are feeling a little bit stressed and I want to kind of go through that and work through that with you. I know I felt uh, immediately a uh, um, almost betrayed like a sucker punch and I realized that um, 
it, that quickly faded and I hope it did for you if you still have those kind of lingering feelings around. Let's take a look and see what we can do and, and how you're feeling and where we're going to go from here. So I laid out these cards. These are um, uh, my prediction cards. These are um, fortune cards and these are feeling cards. So the map of where to go, how we're feeling, and this is our this is our um, actual reading cards. I've placed the brooches where I have a strong connection to that card. We'll see what's underneath that. Maybe it's a little bit more important of a message. We'll um, take a look. First, I'm going to start up here with the map. Where are we going? So the first card that we get is stuck in the mud. And that's what we were feeling, stuck in the mud. Uh, let's see what the um, this has to say about this. It says, becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. So that's very good advice for us. Um, it is this observe, observing what's going on. Don't take it in emotionally. Just relax, watch how things are going to play out, and I, I think that'll help you be more calm. We're going to save this one to last because that's the one that is the most important, I feel. Let's try this one here. This one is Heal the Ouch. Heal the Ouch. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? You want to, um, whatever it is that's bothering you, you need to take the time to observe it and heal it. So this is a time for great soothing of the heart, body, soul, and mind. And that healing will be prevalent in your life right now. Maybe you'll be... Um, drawn to help someone else who's having a hard time getting over the turmoil of the last few days. Or it may be that you need to change your behavior um, so that you won't make yourself sick over this. This one is encouragement. So encouragement is, um, well, obviously everybody knows what encouragement is. Time to, to reflect on your, um, what's been going on around you to step into the new, um, part of your life, um, there are things out there to be explored. And the universe is kind of giving you a nudge in the right direction. You'll get the help you need, and you won't be alone in this. There are a lot of you that feel upset right now, but um, it is, this is a good thing, and we're going to go in the right direction, and you will get the help that you need. So, so don't stress. Just uh, keep the path. Observe what's going on. Now, we're going to look at this final card. And that's the Magical Map Shifter. The Magical Map Shifter. When that card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life and impact your growth. Perhaps you might meet a soulmate or someone that leads you out of difficulty. And this may be Kamala. She's going to lead us out of this terrible turmoil that we've been having. Um, she's going to get us to a place of safety or success. And so we need to pay attention to her 
and what she's got to say. And I think, see her, all of the wonderful things around that person. And it's going to, she's going to lead us in the right direction. That was our most important message in this row is that it's going to be okay. She's going to lead us in the right direction. That's very encouraging. The next row is from Tatiana's Fortune. So we'll start with the first one. The Heart Reversed. This is obviously about a broken heart and maybe we we feel that empathically towards joe biden that we're we're very sad that he had to leave his position um it and it's it's going to take a little bit of time for us to heal from that broken heart but we can't let it overwhelm us and take over our lives we're going to um we're going to be fine with this. We do um, we do feel a little bit broken, however, and I know I know you feel that way. I know I feel that way. The next is the dog. I'm sorry I had to stop for a second because I said the word dog and my dog started barking. <laughs> That's kind of the way it goes. But um, you may feel like you don't want to fully invest in Kamala as our next president but you really need to look at her as a friend um and that and that she's going to be reliable and we can count on her we could count on joe too to make the right decision and which he did for him and for us and so i think that you need to look at her as a friend and that you know all of those things that dogs signify your best friend someone who's going to take care of you watch out for you protect you be your companion this is a good thing the next two are brooches which are more important uh, cards or cards we need to really look at closely The fox, someone who is sly or not telling the truth, someone clever and negative. Well, I'd say that fox is probably Trump and the Trump campaign and possibly Vance. That whole group over there is someone that these two are protecting us from. So this is the threat. Let's see if this gives, next one gives us the answer as to what to do about that threat. That's the stork. This is about loyalty and important occasions. And so what I'm saying, th thinking here is that you need to be loyal to the Democrats this is the threat that we have. Don't let this heartbreak and this change affect your voting. Go out and vote blue and get this energy out of here, okay? So it's a very clear message. These are very important. It's saying this is the threat and the way you need to, to Combat that threat is through loyalty. Okay, and the final, oh, I want to take that off. The final cards 
are, I did the Pulp Tarot this time. I like this deck. I really resonate with it for some reason, so uh, I use it a lot. Let's take a look at here. The Queen of Pentacles. Well, the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing and practical. She's down to earth. She's got the fruits of her labor in her hand. This is Kama, I believe. She's worked hard to get to where she is. She is um, powerful. She's down to earth with with um, with us. She understands us. She understands women. She understands women's rights. And she is got the in her hand she's got the power she's got the money there are lots of um, donations coming in for her keep them coming um, she needs those to win but she's definitely um, uh, she is definitely practical and is going to use that wisely i think we will all be impressed with her the next card is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands um, is about passion and discovery and zooming off like right off the block. So she's she doesn't have much time to get this campaign going. She only has until well, basically September, because that's when they do the nominations. So she got till September, so she's got about two months to get herself ready. And she is ready. She is just zooming uh, right straight ahead. And I think that's a good thing. We're going to see that she's got a lot of power behind her, and she's soaring so that's good let's take a look at this one the fool well the fool that's new beginnings adventure kind of jumping off the cliff not really knowing where you're going to land that may be kamala that may be all of us we're we're all jumping into something new at the last minute and we have a lot of innocence about it we're a little bit naive in thinking that this is all going to go smoothly. I don't think it will, but it is an adventure and we are being spontaneous and we're just going to have to go along for the ride. So let's uh, do it with optimism, um, with uh, innocence, with um, joy, Let's get behind her and start the new beginnings of a new generation um, taking over the political scene in our country. And this one was deemed the most important. Justice. Well, there you go. Fairness, truth, law, balance. You know she's a prosecutor. She knows, you know, she's smart. She knows that um, she can, she just needs to get Donald Trump on the stage and she can show the people really what a blowhard he is. This, she's going to help bring justice to our political system. She knows the law. And she has no qualms about applying the law. I think this is very good reading. We have up here, watch and wait with your feelings. Don't overreact. Things will be fine. You have the, the um, magical shifter here who's working to get everyone's emotions under control. We are heartbroken for Joe, 
but we have a good, faithful, and loyal person in Kamala who is going to help us in the election. All we have to do is go vote out this sneaky, sly fox, okay, that has got in the hen house. She's solid. She's got a lot of power behind her. She's going into things. We're all going into this um, a little bit blindfolded, a little bit naive, um, jumping in where it's not something. It's not been done before, so that's okay. There's going to be justice. She's going to bring justice. So this is an amazing reading. I hope this helps everybody feel a little bit calmer about what's going on. And um, let's take, I do have some more questions. So I'm going to pull these brooches off of here. And these cards here. We've got all our feelings out here. And we all, this path. This fortune path. And now I want to ask about, you know, did you see, uh, she's got a few choices for um, vice president. This is um, a big decision for her. I'm sure she's not making it alone. Sure, she has her advisors. And I still think that President Biden will be weighing in on her choices. She might go with him, to him with a few of her top choices and see how he feels about it. Or maybe she's been uh, working with this, him on this all along. I, I really don't think this is the first that she's thought about it or that he's thought about it or that they've discussed it. So I think that uh, the plan was if he couldn't continue as president for any reason, that she would take over. So I think that uh, this is not something that has not been discussed. So let's see where she is on the vice president. Still a secret. Um, she probably had already has somebody picked. World, someone with a lot of uh, foreign policy um, background. Oh, we're going to be happy about this person. It's going to be a good partnership. The two of cups. Um, talks about harmony and um, mutual uh, they're on the same going to be on the same page King of Pentacles it's going to be a man so everybody that wanted to have a woman Um, you're going to have a guy who's kind of a wonk, maybe a policy wonk, um, with some experience in on the world stage or um, in foreign affairs. She needs that. The tower, yeah, they have a lot. They have a lot to overcome, and it's going to be a surprise. It's not going to be somebody that you think. And there's the government. Somebody already in the government. So it's somebody already in the government. It's a, uh, she's already picked them. Uh, someone with foreign policy experience um, uh, that she can rely on, that she understands and that she likes. Somebody she's worked with probably. 
um, a man. I Sorry, girls, I know we wanted a double woman ticket, but that's just not in the cards. And um, it's going to shake things up. This is going to be uh, not the safe pick, not the pick that um, all the talking heads are talking about, okay? And he's already in the government. He's already there. Well, that's interesting. I wonder who that is. I'll have to do some looking on seeing who that is. Let's see if I can get a read, a little bit more of a read on who that could possibly be. the part that she's um, lacking. She's got a lot of domestic um, issues that she's been working on. And now she's going to be more on the um, national stage, so she needs someone that can advise her and stand in for her in those areas. She has to be able to trust this person who is who is this person who is going to be our vice president? And is she going to announce it soon? Someone in the government. There we go again. The Four of Cups. Um... Someone that maybe has been overlooked before, maybe looked at and overlooked. Um, somebody that's getting reevaluated. Maybe he's had the position before. Who's had a high level position in the government that's been overlooked, had been looked at for a vice president before, maybe on when. Uh, Biden picked Kamala. Who were the choices that he had at that time? That might be something to look at. Um, it's going to be fast. She's She already knows who she wants, and she's got to get him on the ticket, and they've got to get going and start campaigning. So this is going to be fast um, with the chariot. She's strong. They're strong. It's going to be a good, strong ticket. Not afraid. It's going to be a, it's going to be, I get this real feeling of power and a really strong ticket. Okay. It's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be good. And it's somebody's older. Um, is it older or younger? I don't know. I mean, I'm, this this is new beginnings. This Ten of Cups, but it's just happiness and fulfillment. I'm not sure if that signifies a younger person than her or an older person than her. Someone in the in the fifties, in their fifties, maybe. Not sure how old she is, but I'm thinking. I'm getting 50s, someone in their 50s. Keep getting that 50 sign popping up. Uh, <laughs> the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups uh, satisfied. We're just all going to be happy and satisfied and on top of the world with this ticket. Oh, wait, this is going to be good. We're still not getting who, but someone in the government who's possibly overlooked 
uh, by the Biden administration or looked at at one time for a vice president, but when he was running the first time, but they picked Kamala instead. It's going to be um, it's going to be in a hurry. It's going to be soon. It's going to be a very strong ticket. This person's going to be either younger than her or somewhere in the 50s. I have this 50s um, thing coming and going to be uh, happy. We're going to be happy about this. This is going to be a good, good, strong ticket and we're going to get behind them. Can I get a little bit more about the 50s, about this person in their 50s? I'm thinking, let's pull these out. Let's get a little bit more. Someone in the government who's been looked, overlooked in their 50s. Boy, I'm going to have to do some research on that. Let's see what I come up with. This one kind of wanted to come out. Page of Wands. The Page of Wands. Well, yeah, basically that's telling me to go look at, do some research. Um, <laughs> discover. It's up for us, up to us to discover who this is. That's funny. Cards are laughing at me. Because I said I need to look it up. Let's see. Oh, the Three of Cups. Look at those women. Wow. There's celebration. There's um, there's joy. This is a whole community having a drink and a cocktail. They're happy. Um, they're already celebrating. Joe and Kamala are already celebrating that this person said Yes. And the Ten of Wands. So now they have to start the hard work. The hard work of and responsibility and campaigning and it's going to be really hard um, for them. They're going to be on the campaign trail day after day after day after day. They really need to get out there and talk to the people and um, get them fired up to vote. So the work begins. I think we'll hear soon about her pick. And she's not going to, um, she's not going to leave it hanging because she wants to get moving. She uh, feels confident in her pick and um, she's kind of uh, given it a few days. She, I think out of respect to Joe Biden, I know he's pro still ill. Um, he is still the president. And, and it's kind of a funny situation. Usually your vice president is not... Um, take not taking the, I don't want to say the mantle, but um, usually someone is running against you <laughs> and she is not running against Joe. So it's it's kind of an unusual situation and, um, and her duties as vice president still go on. So she's got a double duty for uh, at least six months. So... Uh, there'll be people there to take up the slack, but oh, something uh, decided to pop out. Oh, the swords. So let's see this. The seven of swords. Um, yeah, there's some deception. Uh, there's some betrayal. She doesn't want Joe to feel betrayed. I think that's more what this card is. It's not that someone's betraying her. It's that she doesn't want him to feel betrayed, even though she has to do her job as vice president and do this bizarre thing of running for um, for president at the same time that there is an incumbent president that she works for. So really, really difficult for her. 
even though she has Joe's blessing, I think deep down inside she really feels awkward about this whole situation. Then the, the Four of Pentacles here, um, she has to uh, control the funds. She also has to control um, uh, how she presents herself to the public. She does not want the public. She does not want Joe's support, the people that love Joe, to turn away from her and to not support her. It's kind of a, she's kind of walking a fine line there. She can't, she wants to continue with Joe's um, platform. Uh, she has some ideas of her own. I don't think we'll hear about those, um, at least not right away. I think that she's going to um, be very supportive of Joe as she's running this campaign. She is going to be more focused on Trump and how to um, how to pull voters in from that side and show his true colors. I. Um, uh, I really like this. Let's see what else. The last thing I want to talk about is, or look up, is Joe. How's Joe feeling? I, um, you know, I know I felt uh, very upset when he, when he stepped down. However, it didn't take me long to realize that this is the plan. You know, we we are just riders along, um, commuters on the train on the uh, the Our life plan are already set, so his was set. Uh, he may have had some free will um, in there, but uh, I think that. Kamala was meant to be president, uh, whether it was before or after the election. Uh, whoa, that one popped out right away. So how is Joe feeling? Well, here he is. It's time for him to relax and retire. That's what he's feeling. He's relieved, actually. He was hurt at first, I think, but he has had a successful career. He's done, he hasn't done everything he's wanted to do, but he has probably been one of the best presidents we've ever had. He, uh, in the background is the family that's us. He's, he's taken care of us. He has brought us out of the um, devastating economy that the um, COVID left us in and Trump. Uh, it's, he's, he's actually feeling better now. He, I think maybe when he made the decision, it was really difficult. I think he's kind of resigned himself to that and is, he's feeling um, proud of himself for what he's done. And the Ace of Cups, the, he's got some some new plans. He's <laughs> he's not stopping. He's um, he feels very. He was feeling betrayed. I think uh, the beginning. Right now, he's not. He's feeling compassion for these people. He knows how hard it is when you're a senator and the the you're constituents or the money is not coming in for you and you're afraid you're not going to be elected. He has the empathy with them. He understands them. He's been there. So he understands why they did what they did. Um, and he has, um, emotionally, he, he, he's there. He's under, he understands it. He's, he's, um, He's still got some things to do, though. In the next six months, we'll see Joe doing some things, I think. And here he is walking away, the Eight of Cups. He, uh... I 
again, he's he, it's he's okay with walking away. Let's see here, the nine of wands. Yeah, he felt he felt like um, he was uh, kind of being attacked. He was hiding behind his or not hiding, but he felt like he really didn't have many choices left. And he made the choice, but I think it was under duress. He was not, he would not, if he had chosen, he would not have been in that position, but he couldn't help it. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So I think that's, uh, Kamala, he, that he's glad that he's turned it over to Kamala. She's got the emotional breadth and depth and balance that uh, is needed in the in the coming months and in the coming years. So uh, he's happy about that. Um, yeah, he's got some mixed feelings here, but I think they're all all coming. Uh, backwards to this one where he's he's there he's um, going to be retired he's taken that be with his family um, let's see what else more cups six of cups yeah it, you know he's got a lot of emotions swirling around here he's got lots of memories and and nostalgia um, but that's okay you know everybody has that he did a good job he's been there for how he years and years and years and um he's been working on on uh, on this for years it culminated in the presidency and now it's time for him to go we've got that queen of pentacles back that's kamala again um he felt calm about her and he knows that she's uh, grounded and he's then going to take over now this eight of pentacles means he still has work to do. He uh, He's not giving up. He's not just going away and hiding for six months. He's he's doubling down on his work, which this might be a good thing. We're going to see um, he's going to try to cram into that six months at least the start of everything he wanted to accomplish in the next four years. So he's really going to set the groundwork, um, get things ready for her um, to implement. Um, and he, we, he might surprise us with a few things. He still has some issues on the world stage he wants to deal with. He's um, Ukraine and Israel. He's working hard on those. And I think um, we'll be seeing some things coming out of there that you had not expected. I think there will be a deal with Ukraine. We're gonna be very happy. We're gonna be very happy about that. Um, they have been partners. Uh, so he's, um, he picked her. He picked her as a partner and, um, and he's okay with that. Yes, he, he, he felt betrayed in the beginning, not fully, but you know, by some of his best friends were, were had uh, come to him and they did it respectfully. He, he understood that. It's still hard in your heart to uh, not feel a bit of betrayal when your best friends come and tell you that it's time to go. This Knight of Pentacles, um, he, he's still making steady progress on stuff. He's still working on stuff. He's not going away. We'll, we'll see some action coming out of him. And in the, in the last one I'm going to do is this page of swords. So the page of swords, uh, is that he actually, <laughs> he actually has some new ideas. He's got some new ideas, and he's going to float those with Kamala. 
um, now that in, that he's not going to be responsible for some of those things um, that he wanted to do, maybe uh, maybe she can take them up. So he's going to leave her with uh, with some work that's been done, some work in progress, but also some new ideas on the where where and how to take the party in the future. So I hope you all are encouraged by these. I am. I feel so much better after doing these cards. I was feeling bad for Joe, but I think he's um, taken it in stride. And um, and we won't. He's. We haven't seen the last of Joe. He's got uh, six months of work to do. Please be well. And I'll see you later. Bye.